Hi guys, this is Raven Claw with it. Welcome back to another with story. I got a new one. I'm trying to venture into um, adding, you know, X Men powers to my what if stuff. So here's another, you know, mutant. Well, he's not really mutant. This would be um, what if Izuku Midoriya had Cyclops powers as a quirk. So let's run down, you know, his power base real fast. All right, not that picture. Okay, sorry guys. Um. Let's run his abilities for fast. Alright. Octip Force Blast. And that's... And the other stuff is Master Tactician and Strategist. That's just the easy go to the core. So, don't need to put that in. He'll have, you know, skilled martial arts, hand-to-hand -hand combat. And that's pretty much about the powers. Um, But his um blasts are green instead of red. Like, the picture... I was showing you here watch like this picture right here on this picture so it's from um, from that website you should check it out if you like if you like the pictures and stuff like that people post a whole bunch of stuff this is where I go find mudger in my pictures so it's green instead of you know red and he's basically how that how the powers work sorry is um He's able to like um, absorb solar radiation. That's how like I read some of the bio of the character. He's able to absorb solar radiation and shoot it out out of his eyes. Stuff like that. If you've seen X Men, you know what I you know what I'm talking about. So let's begin. Um, his parents are Izuku Midoriya and um, Asashi Midoriya, but um, Inko. And Asashi met over in America because um, when um, Inko was, uh, was adopted, there were an American couple that adopted her. So, you know, she gets this story is all in it, like not the whole story, just the beginning of it will be in America. So, let's just say, um, what city we should put it in? Um, New York. Let's just go with New York. All right. As Asashi, you know, met Inko in America when he was visiting, sightseeing. As you know, they Asashi saved Inko from being attacked by some muggers. And, you know, they started dating. They started going to first date. Then they started dating longer. Then Asashi, you know, had to go back to Japan. And um, they continued to have a long-distance relationship. Then, you know, sorry. I need to stop saying that. As he had time, when he had time off of school, college, I guess. Yeah, let's just say college. He um, returned to America to see Inko, and they decided to get married. And one thing led to another, and you know, Inko became pregnant. So let's begin our story with you know. The birth of Izuku Midoriya. Instead of in Japan, it's in America. So, she's like, um, you know, Miss, uh, Miss Inko, um, Miss Midoriya, push, you know, as Izuku's born. Doctor, you have a, um, healthy baby boy. As the years progress, as one, one day, um, Inko and um, he's around five years old. As Inko and uh, Sashi are in the car, some um, guy, you know, um, what do you call it? Um, sorry, cut them off as they go off a cliff. As you know, she's holding. She she grabs the Izuku, holding. It's like, come here, sweetheart. As you know, she's holding him in his arms, and Izuku's like, what's going on, mom? I'm scared. As, you know, they're rolling around off the cliff as the, um, the car, um, flops on the, the, the ceiling. Um, Asashi's dead instantly. As Inko's, you know, panicking because, you know, her husband's dead and she has to protect her child. But, you know, the car's on fire. As Izuku's freaking out, this is when his quirks activate where he, um, uses his green blast. I'll just refer 
as it's green blast, as he starts shooting and it melts, I don't like, yeah, the door, the, the car door flies open, hits a couple of trees, as, you know, uh, Inka's freaking out because her son has her cork now, <laughs> and, and, and she's like, sweet, sweetheart, close your eyes, just close your eyes, he's like, I can't see, just close your eyes, sweetie, so, you know, Inko tells Izzy to close her, close his eyes, as she carries him uh, away from the car as the car explodes, you know, sorry, you know, I didn't say, stop saying that, as, you know, a piece, a uh, piece of metal hits, you know, Inko in the back of the head, she's knocked out, and Izuku's like, mommy, wake up, mommy, you know, he does that for a couple hours, she eventually gets up, and she's like, sweetheart, where are you, and she's like, here, mommy, I, I, I can't see, because every time he tried to open the eyes, he, um, blasts out his green energy, so, <laughs> so I might like blast, I think it's called, I keep forgetting, but let's continue, and she's like, all right, dear, Keep, keep your eyes closed as they get she called the authorities as the rescue begins as you know she's talking to the officers and the paramedics on scene Asashi's dead Inko has a slight concussion and she has you know Midoriya close his eyes she's like um so what exactly happened ma'am we were cut off then we fell off the cliff, then uh, my husband died, then uh, my boy, young Izuku here, um, blasted the door open with his cork that he just manifested during a stressful uh, event, that's how his cork activated, and she's like, alright miss, we're pretty much done with our, um, our questioning, do you remember, you know, what the car looked like, and she named the car, like the color, and the type of car and the license plate it's like very well we'll investigate the driver you'll get justice you're free to go well you have anyone to call and she's like no i don't my parents died a while ago all i had left is a sashi now all i have left is my sashi and um my late husband and my son it's like all right she calls a cab gets driven home because they all checked her up. She doesn't need to go to the hospital. So the next day, she um she takes Izuku to the cork doctor in New York. It's like, um, Miss Midoriya. Yes, um, my son uh is cork activated manifest. And she's like, oh, interesting. Let me see. As you know, he does the X-ray. Let's be sure. It's like, huh? He definitely has a pendant, so he definitely have a cork. And she's like, why is your son's eyes are closed? And she's she explained she uh, every, every time he opens his eyes, he blasts energy out of his out of his eyes, green energy. And he's like, interesting. Um, come with me. We'll we'll go to the testing ground. As as Izuku's like, mommy, where are we going? He's like, don't worry, dear. We're going to have go to the area where you could use your cork, and. And Izuku doesn't know nothing about here. Like there's there's heroes in America. He he doesn't know nothing about you know a Japanese hero. So I was like, all right, young man. He drags him towards it. It's like, all right, open your eyes. There's like a sheet of metal. As he he opens his eyes, there's a green kind of glass. As it um hits the metal, melts it in the middle. As she's I'm just saying it melts stuff too, so. Because he doesn't have full control, so these are lethal shots. <laughs> so. The first one was not as powerful. That's why the door slammed open instead of melting. So she's like, he's like, interesting. I've never seen anything like this. So they do a couple more tests. They figure out what it was. It's like, apparently, oh ma'am, your son Quark um, absorbs solar radiation as he directs it through his eyes. So I'm I'm having something made for visors. For um a pair of sunglasses for him to wear. He must wear these at all times. He'll be able to see through that. But once he takes off off 
he won't be able to see it and it's very dangerous. Please be careful. If anything else happens, please contact, contest, contact me and we'll figure something out. So Izuku, you know, gets his sunglasses the next day and he's like, Mommy, I can see, I can see. And she's like, it's all right, sweetie. So there, she's still depressed. She's, you know, hot Inca. She's not fat. So like I said in previous, uh, um, what ifs? I don't do fat Incus. So let's begin. Let's continue. As she um, has to raise Izuku by herself, she hires a babysitter as she um, takes a job. Takes a job at, like, Inko smart, like super smart. So she has the same quirk and everything, but she's super smart. Her intelligent level is like a genius level. So she's been working with a company that's a uh, sister company of the Yairozus. As Mrs. Yairozu and Mr. Yairozu took notice to Inko early on when they visit America. Momo's not there. She's, you know, back at her mansion. She's like, oh, um, hi, um, I am Mr. Yairozu and Mrs. Yairozu. I've heard much about you through our company. And she's like, um, it's very nice to meet you. I'm Inka Midoriya. Now, what she does is, um, she makes cork canceling gear to nullify corks. Like the necklace, not like a collar and and stuff to neutralize quirks so though for um to capture villains. Just like your um your invention is quite fascinating. They have like they've had other like cork canceling stuff, but I'm adding that I I am adding she's she uh she invented the cork canceling collar. So she's like you're your invention is quite remarkable. It will help a whole lot of people. I would like to, you know, I would like to talk more about this. Can we meet, like, tonight over dinner? Mrs. Iyarozu and Mr. Iyarozu is um, asking Inka for dinner to discuss. It's a business dinner type of thing. And she's like, I think I have to find a uh, babysitter for my, for my baby boy. And she's like, you, you have a son. As Mrs. Yairu is like, yeah, um, he recently, um, his quirk recently manifests and he, he's required a lot of supervision. His quirk is quite, it's quite dangerous. And they're like, what do you mean, miss? As she explains what she has to go through, what happened. She's like, I'm so sorry, dear. You had to go through that. It's like. I would like, let's meet tomorrow, like, to, tomorrow night, as she finds a babysitter for Izuku. It's like, all right, mommy, all right, all right, all right, dear, mommy has to go to a, you know, business meeting. And she's like, oh, I was like, all right, mommy. It's like, um, like the teenager girl, it's like, she'll, she'll look after you, you quite enjoy her company. It's like, come on, Izuku, let's go home. Let's go play some Legos. You know, he's playing Legos or something kid stuff. So as that happens, um, Inko gets to the dinner. And she's like, oh, I'm glad for you to come, um, Inko. Miss Miss Midoriya. And she shakes um, both their hands. She's like, all right. She's like, the reason why we called you here is we were quite impressed with your invention from our sister company. And we would like to... We would like to um, transfer you over to um, to my main company. I'm just saying that uh, Mr. Yairuzu owns a sister company. So it's a separate company from um, his main company. So he's like, I would like to offer you a position in my main, in our um, Japanese branch. And Inko's like, shocked by this. He's like, but my, but my life is here. And, and Miss, Mrs. Yairuzu, I know. But you could do so much, you could do so much more, um, you could help so much more people in Japan. We have, the, I'm just saying that they, in, in America, there's some like, 
what is it called? Um, restrictions. What she could do. So it's hard for her to get her all her projects up and running. So she like they're they're talking about it and Mrs. Harris is interested to meet her son and stuff like that. So they get um she gets home and talks talks to the um babysitter. It's like how was how was Izuku? Uh he was a sweetheart. He didn't he mostly played and he ate his dinner and went to bed. And she hands her her money for her babysitting. She's like, thank you. I really appreciate it. And she's like, it's it's fine. Uh, Miss, Miss Izuku. No, not Miss Izuku. <laughs> Miss Midoriya. I quite enjoy, you know, having Izuku around. And she's like, yeah, about that. Um, we might be um, moving to Japan. You know, she's saddened by it. It's like, I... But, you know, the girl understands that she needs... Inko needs to do what's best for her son. So she's like, I understand, you know, it's going to be a shame to, you know, I'll miss you guys. So she hugs her. It's like, you've been a great help. Your family was always good for, you know, Izuku. Because she, she's always been babysitting Izuku. So she adores Izuku. Not Izzy, uh, Izuku. As that goes on. Sorry about that. As, uh, you know, next day, she's like, Sweetheart, I like to, you know, talk to you for a little bit. What is it, mommy? It's like, do you want to go where, where um, I was? You want to go to where I was, you know, my hometown? And he's, he's like, where is that? And he's, and she's like, it's in another country. It's called Japan. It's, it's, it's my homeland. And he's like, okay, you know, he's, he, he's, he's excited. So I get to see new places. And he's like, yes, dear. So what do you think? And, you know, Izuku's just a kid. He just, he has no say in the matter. But, you know, she's just being Inko. Being nice to her son. He's like, very well, you know. We'll be moving pretty soon. So we'll be, you know, visiting my homeland in about a couple weeks. So a couple weeks go by and she's on the plane. As a private plane. Because, um, the, um... Yada Rose is pulling all the stops because she's quite brilliant. So, as they land in Japan, and Mr. Yada Rose and Mr. Ayazu is waiting for them. Oh, Inko, um, Miss Miss Midoriya, it's good for you to you know come. How was the flight? And she's like, it's fine. Small pause. I'm going to give the visor to him, but I don't know when. So, let's let's continue. I was like, so is that so is that your little boy? And she's like, yeah. She's like, he's adorable. She has the sunglasses. He he has sunglasses on. So, oh, I see what you I see what you're talking about. The sunglasses. She's like, yeah, it, he's able to see with them without unleashing his quirk. Oh, that's quite. We could have something make for him. We could you know find something better. We have a lot of resources. And she's like, yeah, I've been working on something for him. But hopefully, you know. It'll be done by soon. It's a little pet project she has for for Izuku to help him with his um eye problem. Instead of having sunglasses all the time, he's he's gonna have that visor and he's able to adjust the level of it when he uses his quirk so it could be more just like you know, level and system on it where from you know one to to whatever, to like deadly to to um non lethal. So as that goes on. Mr. Yada Rozu, Mr. Yada Rozu, no, takes them to her, her new place. It's basically like, they have her transfer over to the Jap, Japanese branch, and, you know, they're, she's, you know, taking care of, like, a house, and, you know, don't have to worry about much. As, as they get, it's like, so this is your house, um, Miss Inko. Miss, sorry, Miss, Miss Midoriya. She's like, you shouldn't have. I was like, it's, I'm more than willing to, you know, do that. Judging by how, like, you, I've, you know, done some, I've looked at your work. It's quite brilliant. It's the, it's the smallest thing we, we could do for you. You're going to help our, you're going to help a whole lot of people. So, you know, they leave and Izugu and uh, Inko gets in their house Gets a couple stuff for gonna make it more homey. 
as we're going to... Let's continue. So, um... I don't think um, Midoriya would go to Bakugo school because she she works for with uh, she works for the yeah, the Rozu. So I think they would have him put into a uh, the high end school where Momo is. That's that's because of plot. So <laughs> he's still let's just say a year passed and he's six and he has the. Um, he has the sunglasses still. So his divisors haven't really been made yet. I don't know when I'm going to do that, but it'll be eventually. It'll, it'll be early on before the UA and exam. So, as that continues, it's like, oh, we have a new student here. And, you know, Momo's ready in class. So is young. Um, and, um, I don't know. I'll just say Todoroki for now, but um, I won't. <coughs> Sorry. I won't say his gender, he or she yet, because I don't know what if I, if I want to have him regular Todoroki or have him um, female Todoroki. I'll let you guys decide that. And I'll let you decide um, if Bakugo is a girl or not. I like the ginger band, like majority of the characters in there because, you know, it makes the story a little more interesting. So leave a comment down below if you want that. So let's continue with our story. It's like, we have a new student here. Um, what's your name? She's like, uh, I am, um, Izuku Midoriya. And he's like, oh, that's, that's a lovely name, dear. Where are you from? He's like, I'm from America. I just moved, moved here. Mother, uh, told, like, mother got a new job. So, Momo doesn't know nothing about Izuku or his mother. She doesn't really know that, you know, the history between her family and, um, Inko yet, so... They're still kids, so they all highly doubt they would know that, at least Momo, because it's just like, all right, you know, dear, sit by, you know, sorry, sit in the, like, sit in the actor's seat, it's in the back, like, away from Momo and um, Todoroki, he's, like, very antisocial, because he's afraid that he's gonna hurt someone with his, um, quirk, even though the visor stops that, but he's still very careful around people, he, he doesn't want to hurt anyone. He's very afraid of his quirk. Very much. Because I would be too. Like if um, if you had a quirk that shoots energy out of your eyes. You literally just cannot. Like just by looking at someone. You could like blow their head off. So he has a little. He's afraid of it. Pretty much. <clears throat> so I have been rambling on about that for like a couple seconds. Saying the same thing over and over again. So my bad guys. As we continue, as the, the, the day progress, as a couple kids try to pick on Izuku, it's like, huh, you think you're cool because you have sunglasses? They're, you know, little kids. They're pushing him, and they're about to take the sunglasses. And mom was like, leave him alone. Like, leave him alone. As they back off, huh, whatever, you know, freak, as you know. Basically, he's like, whatever, foreigner, as they walk off. Because, you know, they're calling him a foreigner. Because, you know, he's from America. He's the new spice, apparently. So, <laughs> enough about me. As, you know, she's like, are you alright? As, you know, she takes his hand and, and, you know, helps him up. He's like, I'm Momo Yadarozu. I'm, um, Izuku Midoriya. Nice to meet you. As he bows, because, you know, his mother, it's about, all about respect. So, they go off. No, Momo talks to him a little bit. He's a little iffy about being around her because, you know, people in general. So, that um, that thing, you know, the rest of the day goes by and Izuku leaves before Momo could talk to him again because she wanted to talk to him again because she loves making new friends. So, we're going to cut to Momo when he she's at her, her house. It's like, how was your day, sweetheart? Hi, Mom. It was fine. There was a new student today. And she's like, really? Who is it? Um, a boy named Izuku Midoriya. And she's like, oh. So, you know, he was in your class. And she, and Mom was like, what? And she's like, don't worry, dear. So how how, how did you like the boy? And she's like, he seemed nice, but a little quiet. He's, she's, no, she's about six, but she she's smart. So, you know, 
she figured, you know, she she knows that he's kind of like doesn't like to be around people. He's like he doesn't really like to be around people, and and her 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 mother's like it could be understandable. This is a new place for him. He might be a little shy. I'm sure he'll warm up to you eventually, sweetheart. Why don't you go and you know get your um do your schoolwork and get ready for dinner. As that goes on, you cut to Izuku. And and um he goes like so um sweetheart how's your day? As easy could go straight to his room, and she's like, oh, he's still afraid of people because he knows what he did to to he 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 oh sorry he knows how powerful his quirk is so you know he's not going to you know be like Bakugo and be like use it nilly nilly like that his quirk is dangerous so yeah so he's cautious. Again, me rambling on about that. Oh, all right. Let's continue. As you know, Inka get the phone call from um, Miski. Because, you know, they were friends. No. Let's just... Let me pause it real fast. Let me think about something. Okay. I'm back. Um, Miski wouldn't know any... No, um, Inka. Because she was adopted. So, that relationship part of the story won't be present in this one. My bad, sorry. I I was about to, but no, that's not that doesn't work. So you know, Mrs. Yaruzu calls um Inko. She's like, "Hello, um Medora. We're just I'm just calling to see check up how you're doing, how you settle in." And she's like, "We're I'm doing fine. Um Izuku is acting weird, but she's like, oh, your uh, my daughter mentioned you know mentioned something about you know your dear boy, and she's like." She, she, um, tells her, and she's like, yeah, apparently, my son is still afraid of people. And she, and, and she's like, what do you mean afraid of people? She's like, he's afraid to hurt people, which is cork. He can't really shut it off, only by shutting his eyes. So, you know, she, she understands that, and she's, and she's like, why don't you, um, why don't you, um, what about that project you had going? I saw, you know, your, um. A project that I approve for your side project. She approved the um, visor. She's like, yes, I'm still working on it. I'm still working out the kinks. And she's like, I think it would be good for the boy if you give him, uh, get the device, um, the visors made early on. So he could, you know, get over this fear of other people. So, you know, Mrs. Yairos is a nice lady, you know. They're, tr- they're treating like Inko, you know, nicely. They're not like, Normal bosses, you know, do work now, and you know, you don't do it good enough, you'll fire you. No, they're not like that. They're more of a, they like to have a more friendly interactions with their um in employees. So we're going to probably stop it. Yeah, we're going to stop it here. And the next episode, we'll do a probably a time skip between like the first mi- year of middle school. So hope you guys have a good day and night. Judging by time zones, catch you guys later.